Well, guys, th this is it. After so many months of putting this aside, I finally give to you the review of the Turbo Man cosplay suit. Yep, what you're looking at is the suit that I wore at Comic-Con over the summer. This is my Turbo Man costume, or as I like to call it, the Turbo Suit. So this is pretty much the complete suit right here, and over here is the jetpack and the helmet. Now, for those of you who have already seen my previous YouTube videos on these two pieces, then you pretty much know what to expect, so because of that, I'm not going to go into any detail. I'm not going to talk about these two items because I've already talked about them, so... Um, if you guys haven't had a chance, go ahead and check out my channel and check out the videos for the jetpack and the helmet. So today I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a full look at what, uh, what you guys haven't seen. So this is the full suit. Uh, there is one piece that I'm missing, but it's very minor. And later on I am going to put it on. So let's go ahead and get started with the bodysuit itself. So this, what you see here, is a one-piece... Turbo Man bodysuit, and it's made of three different fabrics. We have a uh, gabardine cotton. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, gabardine. I apologize if I butchered that. We have spandex, and then we have vinyl. So areas such as this right here, I don't know how well you can see the detail. This is gabardine. And then for areas where there's a lot of movement, such as the sleeves right here, this is all spandex, so you can... See how I'm uh, stretching this really easy. Yeah, this is spandex. And then the T on the chest, that is vinyl. So it's like a faux leather kind of material. And it's in a metallic gold, which is really nice and uh, is something I wanted. And as you can also see, there's also some piping detail, which I wanted to, you know, just to make it stand out. Kind of give it that tactical look, I guess. And there's even some padding. There's some full padding underneath some certain areas, such as the T, uh, the shoulders right here. There's that's foam padding, and even on the knees. So this costume I commissioned uh, a lady who was um, who's local to make the suit. Um, she's a master uh, seamstress, and she's really good. Uh, she's done a lot of dresses, a lot of really nice stuff, but this is the first uh, time she's ever done a full-on superhero cosplay suit. So this was definitely a challenge for her. And, you know, she... I'm impressed. She nailed it. I remember giving her my designs, um, you know, my sketches, my drawings, and she got every detail down to the T. So I'm very impressed. Now, it was very costly. Um, this... Overall cost um, $300 just for the commission because, you know, I, I had to pay uh, for the material, you know, the fabric. And then just for the amount of time and labor that went into this, the final cost was 300 So wasn't really happy about the price, but it could have been worse because I tried looking to other uh, sources to get this suit made and they were charging way too much. So, you know, it is what it is. But that's the uh, bodysuit right there, and I'll go ahead and go over some really quick details that I didn't get to cover. There's some elastic right here at the uh, bottom of the uh, the cuff of the uh, feet. So this is that way um, my feet can stay in place so this thing doesn't ride up as I'm walking. And there's even uh, an elastic for my thumb to go through. So again, the, the sleeves won't ride up as I'm doing movement, so it'll just stay in place. And uh, so we've got a collar. There's um, some clips right here on the back of the neck, and then we have a zipper that goes all the way down to about the back of my waist. And then we have Velcro straps right here on the shoulders, and that will allow the jetpack to be worn. Next, let's go on to the gauntlets. These gauntlets, I commission HeroCraft Creations to make. Um, they're based in Canada. And if you're wondering why they look so familiar, uh, these are the guys who did the gauntlets for Jason David Frank, a.k.a. the Green Ranger, for the Superpower Beatdown episode where it was the Green Ranger versus Ryu from Street Fighter. 
That's why they have that style. They're based off of the New 52 Batman gauntlets. Uh, particularly, I noticed they're more of based off of the Greg Capullo version. These are made out of latex um, rubber. And it's done in a really nice metallic gold. The fins I added myself because it was going to be a lot more to make a new fin and put them on. So the fins are made out of just a craft foam that I bought at Michael's. And they're the thicker sheets. So I cut them into the shape I wanted and then painted them and just glued them on with super glue. And they held up pretty well. There was one incident at Comic-Con where they were about to fall off. But luckily I had a little tube of super glue gel on hand because those are important to carry because you never you never know the little emergency fix and it worked really well and they just they they attach via velcro so really cool and these cost over um over 80 bucks so i think of all the stuff that i had commission these were the least expensive because, you know, everything else was in the $100, over $100 range. You know, the suit was $300 just by commission. The helmet was $245. So, yeah, $80 compared to $300 to $45. Much more. Uh, it's a lot cheaper. But these held up really well, and I like these. These are really nice gauntlets, and they're flexible, which is really nice. And they were able to conform to my wrists because I'm a really thin guy, so I have really small wrists. Next up are the gloves. These are just ordinary gloves that I bought off of uh, Halloween Express. They're uh, metallic gold gloves. And then I customized them by adding these studs. And they're arranged in a triangular formation. These The gloves are a nod to Kazuya Mishima, my favorite character from the Tekken series. Now, the gloves I ended up hating because... One issue that I had with the gloves was the metallic um, wore off and it shed. I'm not kidding. There was just so much gold glitter everywhere. Even when I would take the gloves off, my hands would be full of gold glitter. So I ended up <laughs> I ended up despising these gloves. So you know, for next year uh, next year's Comic Con, I'm definitely going to look into uh, finding some better gloves, and I'll probably take these off and just. Put them on the new ones because I, I like I like this. It's a really uh, cool touch. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the boots. Now these boots are really uh, simple. They're just uh, irrigation work boots. They're made out of rubber. You can find these just about anywhere: Walmart, uh, Kmart, online. Um, my dad was able to get these from where he works. He's an equipment operator. And I just painted them gold. Now, the painting process was a very, very um, hard thing to do. It was a nightmare because after applying the first coat, I noticed after – even after a couple of days, the paint still – was it was still tacky. It did not it – it just did not cure. And after applying several coats, it just didn't uh, – I don't know what happened. It just didn't... I don't know why. It just didn't want to cure. So I ended up doing something very creative. What I did was I would paint... I would spray paint one side of the boot, of both boots, and I would lay them on its side, you know, the uh, side that wasn't painted. And I actually put them in a spot where they can get direct sunlight. So they got all the exposure from the sun. So basically I was letting these things bake in the sunlight for a couple of weeks and it worked uh which i was very very glad so the power of the sun people so so these um yeah they're, they're not bad i mean it is what um it's all i got for right now so i'm happy with them next up is the uh turbo ring this is a really cool prop that i was able to come up with this is a simple boomerang that i purchased at the local dollar tree and just painted it so i'll take a look right here so this is the this is the turbo ring front and back this thing originally had you can see it's got an off and on um port right here because it originally had led lights and this was a switch but i took off the led lights because i wasn't gonna have any use for that 
So basically what I did was I first started off with painting the thing gold. Well, first I primed it. I sprayed it with a gray primer, and then I painted uh, both sides gold. And then I took some masking tape and kind of put some tape around the areas that weren't going to need any red paint. You know, just creating basically a stencil or a guide and just went over it with red spray paint just so that way I can get this cool turbo ring look just kind of like in the movie. And I carried this in my belt, but for next year's Comic-Con, I'm going to look into making a, a holster that I can strap on to my right boot so that way it'll stay because you know carrying this thing uh, inside my boot this thing would just wobble around and you know just end up all over the place in my leg so i'm definitely going to make a holster to hold it in place and then lastly right here we have the belt uh, for my vision of turbo man i wanted to have a utility belt and it really came in handy because uh you know, I needed it to carry a couple of things, you know, such as uh, money, uh, my cell phone, and other stuff. Um, this belt is uh, all DIY. I made it from several um, several items. I made it from a um, a blank tool belt that I picked up at um, not Home Depot, uh, Lowe's. And then for the pouches, these are actually just uh, these are just cell phone cases that I purchased at my local Dollar Tree. Just painted them with acrylic gold paint. And then we have some uh, PVC nipples with end caps to make the canisters that go on each side of the belt. Because obviously, as you can tell, this belt is obviously um, Batman influence. So it's like a Batman style utility belt. And then for the buckle, I used just a wooden. Um, Gosh, what's the word? Um, oh well, I'm pretty sure you'll you get my meaning. Um, just wood that I purchased at John Fabrics, and then I also use the some door hinges with some rivets, just to give it, it gives it a cool uh, look. Uh, a big a big inspiration for this belt was the uh, Batfleck utility belt for, and from Dawn of Justice, and I found the tutorial to make this belt online on youtube from cosplay chris who i'm a big fan of i saw his uh video on the on a diy batman utility belt on a budget and it was so inspired to make this and it came in really it, it, it was in it was a great idea and it came in handy like i said you know i uh, carried i wore this thing and and some of these pouches i carry you know uh, some cash um I had a separate pouch that was a much bigger one to carry my phone because my phone is really big and it wouldn't fit in any of these, so I had a separate pouch. But but it's still still good, still got the job done. So I'm really really proud of this belt that I came up with. So this is the full costume, and the only thing I'm missing is just the hood that I wore underneath my helmet. It was just a red latex bald cap, and I lost it somewhere in San Diego, but it's okay. Um, that, that thing, by the way, was, um, it was so hot. I, I would, whenever I would take a break and I would pull that hood, my hair was wet. There's so much sweat. So I'm definitely going to look into finding a much more better alternative for next year's Comic-Con because I'm definitely going to wear this costume again at Comic-Con. Uh, I got such a big, um, positive response. People just went nuts when they saw me because, you know, who would have ever thought to dress up as Turbo Man from Jingle All The Way. It's just something that you just don't think of. And it was a really big hit with a lot of people that were there at the con. You know, people stopped me for pictures, uh, said hi, you know, they loved my outfit. Um, it even got me noticed by WWE Tag Team Champions The New Day. Yeah, I'm not kidding. They, they saw my costume. They just really loved it. And they decided to go up and talk to me. And I even also met Zack Ryder, another WWE superstar, and he uh, he took a picture with me on his uh, phone and posted on Instagram. So if you guys look up Zack Ryder's Instagram, you'll you'll find it. You'll see uh, Zack Ryder standing with me as Turbo Man. So the fact that this suit got so many um, good responses, you know, it's it's awesome. Uh, this was definitely something that was a dream it was a dream come true because you know i've for many years i've always wanted to dress up as turbo man and going to comic-con just helped so 
Because, like again, like I said, I don't need to go into explaining about the jetpack and the helmet because I already did separate reviews. However, I will say that this helmet ended up being it was a pain in the butt to see in this thing. I'm definitely gonna upgrade this helmet, not get a new one. I'm, instead, I'm just gonna get uh, another visor and replace that one. It's it was so hard. I was like, I felt like I was blind at Comic Con and. The thing that sucked was I had to carry that helmet for the most part, which to me, it defeated the whole purpose. You know, every time I would, somebody would get a picture with me, that's when I put it on. But then once it was, uh, pictures were over, I take it off and carry it. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to look into um, an alternative for that visor. But now that I've gone over the suit, I guess now it's the moment of truth. And that's putting this thing on. So I'm going to take a quick break, and when I come back... I'll be wearing the turbo suit. So don't go anywhere, guys. Stay tuned. So yeah, this is it, guys. This is the full turbo suit that I'm wearing. And I gotta say, I like wearing this thing. It's so, it makes me feel like a real superhero. This is so awesome. So yeah, this is the turbo suit in its entirety. And uh, I want to go ahead and point out that for next year's Comic-Con, I am looking to make some upgrades to the suit for both aesthetics, you know, just to just for overall looks and for functionality. Like for instance, this is gonna have to be upgraded because I can't see in this thing. Uh, the gloves are gonna be upgraded because I just don't like how they shed and are too glittery. Um, I might even change the belt. I haven't really decided on yet. And I think I'm gonna add a couple of things to the suit overall, like maybe a couple of rivets here and there. And, um, and yeah, also don't wanna forget the, um, boot holster for my turbo rank so those are some of the adjustments I'm going to make for next year but overall I, I really really love the way the suit came out and you know just by all the all the responses I got all the reactions which were positive uh, it just really really made me uh, glad that I was able to get the suit made you know this is a dream come true so I'm very very excited and very happy about this whole thing and you know just a couple of shout outs uh i want to give props to kamen rider custom mask for the helmet uh hero craft creations for the for the gauntlets and uh cosplay chris for the tutorial which helped me create this belt and of course um my friend gloria anson who put together the who made the costume itself the bodysuit um definitely the most important part and if it hadn't been for her hard work um, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now doing this review, doing this video and wearing this suit. So there it is, the entire turbo suit. And, you know, I apologize for the delay. I know I said I was going to do it over the summer after Comic-Con, even before Comic-Con, but I didn't really get around to it. So thank you so much for your patience. And, you know, it's perfect timing to do it because, you know, Christmas is uh, just around the corner. So... Don't forget to like, subscribe, and favorite, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, this will be my last video for a good while, but I will be back in the new year, so I want you guys to take care of yourselves, have a good day, and enjoy the rest of 2016, and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and God bless.